And we are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to part seven of Sonata Play Red Dead Redemption uh, 1. Joining me as per usual is my lovely girlfriend, I am Shadow007. Say hello, hon. Howdy. Howdy. We're finished with the we're finished with Mexico. We're back in the United States, and we're in the city of Blackwater, the most modern the most modern part of this this whole game's map. All and, right. And we're going after the final member of the old gang, Dutch Vanderland. Oh boy. So we've got Professor Harold McDougall, who is a horrible person, and we've got Agent Ross, who is also a horrible person. So pick your poison. But we'll go with McDougal since he's closer. Doggy! Doggle! Doggle! Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes, a, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, so it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars. But still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. See what I mean about him being a horrible person? Yep. Mister. Wow. Bit for humanity, Mr. Also, I think uh, that, that Native American's voiced by uh, Dutch's V. Benjamin Davis. Yeah. Really? It sounds like Dutch. So, I understand kind of does. have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlind. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with yeah. you people out here? No, Vanderlind fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized what you just witnessed was she was if a professor being racist towards the Native American. Yep. I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I yeah. was away with the unique. fairies at the time, I must admit. Uh -huh. Suffering great waves of euphoria. <sighs> well, anyway, yes. Uh, Funny how the professor mentioned uh, Norse, because Nicole and I have been watching Vinland Saga. It is so good. We're about halfway through the first season right now. Job to read too much into everything, dear. Whoa! Look, Careful. Mr. Marston, 
buffalo! Oh, what a noble beast! I see him! The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth yep, he's are you correct. talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society yeah, that's definitely Benjamin Davis. But we hunt to eat, not Oh yeah, to now I hear it. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species uh. don't die, oh, they fuck evolve. Off. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Yes, yeah, species do evolve, but do species can go extinct. Exactly. These trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees ah, before? Tall trees. One of my favorite areas in Red Dead 2. It's this way, Ooh. mister. Oh, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with a mind, Mr. Master. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Yep. Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There sweeping no statement. respect for the land yep. anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, nope. Nastas. Some anger. So no shall be hostile. Where it's I know, right? Don't worry about it, Professor. Ooh, it's getting cold. Yeah, uh, the arc, the arc where we quote unquote helped the Native Americans in Red Dead 2. That was one of the saddest bits of the story. Yeah. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Whatever you say, Dutch. <laughs> so Dutch is helping us find Dutch. Sounds about right. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. Mm. So why did he even come along for the ride? I know, right? That guy's a Yeah, if I if I recall, this part of the map was omitted in Red Dead 2. These mountains. Yeah. Still sucks how you can't go to Mexico in Red Dead 2. I suppose the map is big enough as it is. I'm convinced Red Dead 2's map is just as big or bigger than GTA 5's. Yeah, that's true. That looks like fun. Never mind. Uh. Oh, Nelly. Oh, 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 fuck. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. <laughs> yeah, maneuvering. Not exactly the strong suit of uh, Rockstar games. Yeah. The controls can always always feel a little clunky. For maneuvering. Thank God for first person mode in the later games. I'm getting flashbacks to the end of Red Dead 2. Yeah. I think there's a path through this cave. Just what uh, John going, say something, Dutch! Say something! I don't have much to say anymore. Bang! Bang! You shot me good. <laughs> I still love that, though, when you riddle Micah with bullets, he's just like, oh well, and drops dead. Yes, <laughs> look at this. And then, Mind woo, 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 woo. Goofy yell. <laughs> and his actor actually recreated uh, that that particular shot, falling in the really? snow in New falling in the snow in New York. <laughs> Oh dear. Still, the idea of Dutch uh, dying down the bottom of the mountain. Just him going the goofy yell. Ah! Woo 
<laughs> yeah, let's not ruin that scene, shall we? Yes. I'm pretty sure we're a whiles away from <laughs> actually getting I do wanna I do want to make an edit of that, this though. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> Well. That happened. Huh. Still got the Mauser equipped. Ooh. That looks painful. Better get my Mauser. Oh, Jesus! Explosion. No. Alright, so that's how it's going to be then. Anyway. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. That's why you need to bring bandages with you. Don't worry about me. I know, right? Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. See if these to see if these guys got anything on them. I would go now, Mister. Before hmm. you. <laughs> oh, look at the way his body's hanging. <laughs> My apologies, Mister. <laughs> he had seven Don't bucks on him. That's a lot of money for back then. Seven dollars. Yeah. Remember, we're, t we're talking 110 years ago. Money, 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 money. You go ahead. Money. I just need to rest a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. Just... Yeah, yeah. Just... Quit nagging me. To get, your boss, to, get, to get your ball sack chilled. Yeah, this is what Scotland looks like in the winter. In the countryside, at least. Ooh, pretty. Though I imagine very freezing. Oh, yes. I can't do the cold. I'm used to it. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not cold-blooded like you. Very funny. <laughs> you easily adapt to the cold environment, so that makes you cold-blooded. <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> I just grew up in a cold country. <laughs> Uh oh. I just imagine like I'm I'm in Scotland in winter and I'm wearing seven layers of clothes. Meanwhile, you're like in trunks and sunglasses. Yeah, top soft weather. <laughs> yeah, you're just, in, you're just in swimming trunks and sunglasses. <laughs> like, what are you, a Siberian husky? <laughs> <laughs> no, but every single country my blood comes from, they're all cold countries. <laughs> hmm. Free pelt. What the? Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, that is bullshit. That's bullcrap. <laughs> Thank God there's a checkpoint. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Right. Do I have a shotgun on me? Uh. Yes, I do. Good. I'm going to need it. Uh, Jarl, I might be finished, but I have a negative 50 to my frost resistance. Jesus! <laughs> Unusual for someone from Finland? Uh. Here, bear. I want to make a bear stew out of you. I hear bear stew is really, really good. Then they hear bear that uh, bear meat is actually really sweet in the taste. So, sorry, Yogi. Don't touch the picnic baskets. Duh. Tell the other bears what you saw. You stink. Hmm. 
They censored how they skin the animal. Meanwhile, Red Dead 2? Nope, you see it in its full glory. <laughs> yep! I like, come on, I didn't need to see that! <laughs> oh, really, Jarl? You had bear once? <laughs> I think, to be honest, uh, judging by what Jarl's told me in the past, I think people in Finland will eat anything. Ah. <laughs> Not a bad way to go about things. But yeah, I always want to try to I always want to try bear meat because of like all the video games that like reference it. Like it's like damn it now I want to try it. I'm prepared for you this time. It's like and I'm like yeah, and what kind of specialty butcher shop sells bear? Cruel, my friend. That was close. Yeah. This will fetch a good price. Hmm. I wonder if you can make bear burgers. Oh, for the love of God. Of course, in America, you have to make a burger out of anything. Mm, bear burgers. <laughs> I, do not con I do not condone this. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to hell. <laughs> hey, we're Americans. We eat anything. <laughs> Even if, it is, if, even if it is potentially dangerous. Yeah, Americans will eat anything as long as it's covered in fat, sugar, and salt. Yep. Or Tide Pods. Uh, ugh. Don't remind me of that. <laughs> hmm. The hell do I go? Oh, right. <gasps> Canned bear meat. <laughs> Where else says they'll send you some canned bear meat when you move to Scotland? Oh my god. <sighs> Come on. Oh! There we yeah, go. Yeah, it, it would be cool if, uh, if you would come and visit us, Yarl. That'd be so awesome. Or, if you want, we can go over to see you. <laughs> I'd love to go to Finland. Yeah. Finland! Finland! Alright, are we there yet? Jesus. Where are ya? Okay. You... Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, really, Allie? You've got a family in Sweden? Sweden. Yeah, I am Sweden. This is my wife. There we go. Which is now, which is now canon. Thank you, fucking Italia. Uh, are there others? I'll take that as a yes. Wow, Dutch, you haven't changed a bit. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston! Put that stuff away! You banged your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> 
Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. I'm well, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man we was get it, you're quite racist. traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Thank you. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <laughs> please skin this fucker, please. Seriously, can we skin him? I know, right? I actually wonder, uh... If the game had any Native American consultants, probably. Ah, Marston, sir, it's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies <sighs> great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you want to such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning. Meaning, what makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god. You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir. I shall. Mark my words. I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir. I have a way to say them. Both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type. Come, sir. Okay. <sighs> Do we have to me. listen to I him? Stuff to bring the horses around front. Get, 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 quick, man, quick. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Calm down. I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Come on! I have to say, the touch of the old jitters. No kid. That's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. It's a bear! For the love oh, of God, God, kill it! Ah. You angered her. Now we have no choice. Hey, John, can I buy your skinny yeah. knife, please? I want to skin this asshole. Let's go! Anyway. That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. Yeah, the only reason I killed the bear up in the mountains because it was going to go for me. This yeah. Is it. Slow it up now. Yup. Don't look a very friendly bunch, do they? Well, let's get this started. I hope I don't have to smoke a pipe.
Oh boy. I know, I'm getting chills. Can you get drunk on a soda? Uh, no. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I, Jack Sparrow? What, what, I, what, what, Jack Sparrow, I'm sorry! Answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Boston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn, Dutch! Damn it! Professor, get down now! Follow they me! The star. Martin, you have to get oh us boy. Out of here. Well, this got up is fast! Down. Oh my god, you, you idiot! Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. <sighs> yes, let's get out of I hate this, this guy. I know. A racist coward. Come on, yeah, I imagine uh, the game had Native American consultants. God, Probably dead. My head is pounding. Yeah. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body is in. Oh my god, that man! Shit! I think that's all of them. Man, Hope you're so. a good shot. Thank you. Holy yeah. shit, no slow barely any slow-mo. You're good. That's impressive. That was amazing. Thank you. Come on. Oh, the professor the professor gets in the zombie DLC. Sweet. <laughs> Should do that at Halloween. Yes, we should! Undead Please. Nightmare? Yeah. Hell yeah! You know, I've actually never played Undead Nightmare. Really? And the best part is, this version on the PS4, it comes with it. Ooh, so we're going in bl completely blind. Yep. This'll be fun. Yeah, that's not a shotgun, that's not a shotgun wish, it was a rifle I used. Okay, I think it's well. I know what we're doing for Halloween stream. <laughs> so much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Well, funny you say that, Wishy, because I actually am military trained with firearms. Get some rest, Professor. Oh yes, I love a man who's good with guns. Oy. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> I fired them quite a lot when I was in uh, the Air Cadets back back when I was a teenager. <laughs> It's on my bucket list, but I always wanted to go to a shooting range. Plus, I don't have any depth perception, so shooting with one eye closed is actually pretty easy for me. Huh. Alright, what's next? Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. <laughs> what's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. 
to not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, squeamish. Okay, professor. Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Uh. Ah. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Oh, Hello, great. Hello, Dutch. <laughs> Long time no I think see. That's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? It's got a C-93. We're going to kill the both of you. Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Oh. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you... Kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology. Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you I back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. I know, me thank too. You. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and cue, yep. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Well, the game's made for adults, so... Yeah, that pistol Dutch was holding, you could call that gun the predecessor to the Luger. Come yep. on! We can get to the roof this way! But yeah, uh, anything with people injecting with needles me. makes me squeamish. Just, move, yeah. So what the hell were you like when you got your COVID shots? Whoa. I well, I had to look your away, time, obviously, but still. I I can't look at people getting injected with needles. I can't I can't look at that. Just, ugh. Wilhelm scream. Oh God. Oh, finally, Allie, someone who understands me. Yeah, I can't look at that. Am I the only person on this planet who has never, ever been afraid of needles? Uh. Like, I hate needles, I hate seeing needles, I hate seeing people getting injected with needles, I can't, I need to look away from it. Well, if it's any consolation, Goku's afraid of needles. Uh. Oh, Allie, I hate tarantulas too, I hate spiders and tarantulas. <laughs> I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on then, let's make a break for it! Quote Ed, NEEDLE! Like, whenever I donate blood, I'm actually looking at it uh, as the blood drains out of my arm, looking at it, saying how cool it is. I, I had a uh, 
take yeah, I, I had to take a blood it. test once and they were draining blood me. I took one look, I like I nearly passed out. I'm like, ah, that was so scary. I was just looking at it like that's cool. Come on, let's yeah, get the I had to take a blood test water. many years ago to be tested for uh mono, oh, but uh yeah. I was negative, so Good. Right to the station. Yeah, I take uh I donate blood uh somewhat longer. regularly. My blood type's quite rare in Scotland. Some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the old west, the romance, the honor, the nobility. Well, yeah, they use... it's just Go ahead. yeah, they use an IV to drain it out, but they still have to stick a needle in your arm. Yeah. Oh, oh Ali, not just Sheila, but fucking Aragog. Uh -huh. I know. Where? What? Harry Are Potter, you? we're talking about spiders, just spider let characters. Me go! Oh, for the love of... Oh my god! There's more of them! This is insanity! Oh, you're AB negative, girl. Huh. Oh, that's very rare. That's very rare, wow. I just can't believe I was wrong all these years! My blood type is... My blood anymore. type's B positive. No more than you and me. I'm... Most of these men I know I'm B, but I don't know if I'm positive or negative or neutral. There's no such thing as neutral. No, oh, right, right, but... That was, that was, isn't it like, years. you know, B-O? Yes, well, blood type B-O? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm either B positive or B negative, I'm not sure. Another another universal recipient is a uh, O negative. Yep, that's universal do donor blood. Do Get as far yep. away from here as humanly possible. Back to where people eat with knives and forks and don't spend every second of the day. I do not envy those up. people at all. Here we are. Finally. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. And there's no the civilizing you either. Ah, but they'll give know, me a prize right? in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Good riddance. Don't hug me. Uh, don't hug me. Yeah. yeah. So long, you, Get out of here. So long, sir. Good riddance. Yep. No one will miss you! I got a hundred bucks for that. Wow. Alright, now that we're finished with Professor McDougall, let's go talk to Edgar Ross. Uh, him? Yep. Oh, there's a stagecoach there. We'll just use that to get back to Blackwater. Alrighty. Oh, and there's a property right there. In fact, one more. and the store right there. I'm gonna do some shopping first. You do you. Nice little cabin in the woods. A cabin in the woods, yeah, totally safe from wild animals. Well, as long as the door's locked. I suppose. Right. Ah. It's 2 a.m. The store will be closed. Hold on. I'll go save the game a few times to advance the clock. Okay. How many hours does it advance when you save? Six. Ah. I love that how the shopping in the game, um, you look through magazines. Yeah. To buy it. I love that. It's really cool. No, that's in Red Dead 2. In this game, it's just a menu. Oh. Yeah, you look through a catalogue in Red Dead 2, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I love those. That's so cool. Howdy. 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 Options to suit any pocket. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Thank you kindly, sir. I don't know how you get away with these prices, mister. Oh wait, I forgot. I skinned some animals, so I've got some stuff to sell. Hey, mister. Ooh. Oh, let's see what you got. Stay away. Hey, you're all oh yeah, that's right. You, you can sell pelts. Do you 
hear about Oscar? There you go. Well, that's all I got for you this time. All right, stage coach to Blackwater. Oh God, Jarl! Since you mentioned bear, uh, bear meat, I imagine you like drawing a piece where you and Mark are just casually eating it while I'm just like gnawing on the meat, like. <laughs> Typical American. Yeah, like you two are just like casually like, eating the meat or just eating the stew meat while I just have the meat and I just go. <laughs> well, maybe you should have let her. Maybe you should have let her get a bit more tender. <laughs> it's like no, I must eat it raw. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a funny commission piece. Hey. Let's go see what Agent Ross has for us. I'm so sorry, officer. I don't trust that little China. Damn Wow, you racist. Oh, yeah, it's 1911. <laughs> What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have discussion, a clear shot at them from there. Hmm. Sorry, lawman, but look out. That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. You Keep got your it. Sights trained on that bank door. Boy, I'm gonna get and finish on you. Nobody shoots until I say. I'm Guy Crossfield, right? Who? Hmm. You're a waste of my time. Come on. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. They shot him dead. They're coming out. Got something in a break for Get them. No, you don't. Missed. Whoa. Whoa. How? I was about to say, how did he survive that? But no, he just sort of dawdled. Uh. Eh, eh. Nope. You ain't going nowhere. Head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can.
can take them. Come on, let's get in there. Shoot the lock off that door. Oh, shit. Now, we need to get in there. Let's go. Watch out for hostages. Yeah, swoosh him to shake in oh, the meat. It's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? 15? Sixteen? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. God damn it. God Son of a damn. bitch! Let's get after him! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Mount up. You went this way. Ah, yeah, sure. Blame John for your own incompetence. I know, hey, right? What happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. Been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. So that's the great Dutch. What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. He was a different man before no, the accident. The same crazy bastard he turned yep. into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Hug on your heartstrings. It kind of reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Thank Isn't you. That sweet of you. And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Uh, speaking of Dutch, uh, I actually made a joke to uh, Mark earlier. What? Look what you did to Dutch! He's got brain damage! Let's just say our bureau is tasked with the work of special interest to Washington. There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot! John being Johnny, look what you did to Dutch! He's got brain damage! Oh, 
What? I don't want to use the repeater. Ah, oh, there's my bolt oh. action. That's fair. Where do you think you're going? Also, Wait. given how Dutch, like, severely hurt his head, I'm surprised he didn't suffer any brain hemorrhaging. It's a game. <laughs> There's the answer. Because really, when you think about it, when you have an injury that bad to the head, your brain would hemorrhage from the blood. Again, uh... It was... In real life, that crash probably would have killed him. Yeah. But this being a game, let's make some exceptions. Yeah. We can suspend our disbelief a little bit. How would you know? Have you ever heard suspension of disbelief? Like how some folk got a little too overly analytical on a show about magical talking horses. I know, right? Where's that is true, y'all. Scars are pretty away. tough. Scared to yep. shoot him? Too much Skulls to harder than you think, to quote Lincoln Clay. Presents itself. I always thought they were delicate. Put a bullet in them, don't you worry. Worst, like worst place to shoot a fell in the heads of the forehead. I'll do it. Ah, to quote Lincoln man. Clay, skull's harder than you think. You know, at the end of this, you'll mm. probably get a medal. Because when you think you about it, I like, shall. the amount of concussions and other head injuries. I always thought the skull was just, wow, very delicate part of the body, the bones. No. Oh no, the skull's very tough. Mm. You are famous for now on, you are no longer, you no longer get in trouble for stealing horses. Oh, thanks, so I can be a thief and no one will punish me for it. Just like America was always intended to be. Oh, say can you see? Mm, that's pretty. Though I do wonder, what is the most delicate bone the human skeleton? Uh, the funny bone? The, the funny bone's not a bone, it's a nerve. Mm. Uh, like, what is the what is the most delicate bone so like that breaks easily? Fingers? Toes? Probably the fingers or toes, yeah. The coccyx? Yeah. The coccyx, yeah, the arse. Yep. Uh, the spine? Is that delicate? Depends on how you land on it, I suppose. Hmm. Elbow? Kneecap? No. I also imagine the neck. I'm after my cabell, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, I wish they put that music here. They do? You've heard it a few a couple of times? Oh yeah. Obviously just not as uh grand as it is in Red Dead 2. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna say it's got me more grandiose. Yeah, well Red Dead 2 is a more grandiose game. This game was a little more down to earth. Yeah, that's true. Gentlemen? They want Marston. My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know.
know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Man, the acting in this game is phenomenal. I know. Ooh. Ooh. A, a Maxim gun. Gimme. Gimme. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Hello, Revolver Ocelot. Yes. <laughs> Excellent speech, my friend. Gift of the silver tongue. The mark of a true officer and of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. <laughs> Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called call Revolver Ocelot. See what they're working on in Virginia. That's Soon amazing. There will be no war we can't win. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a game I know off by heart. Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> they put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. <laughs> this thing's like a precursor to a tank. I know, right? Because tanks wouldn't be invented till a few years later. Invented in World War One by the British, I, if, I, re if I remember correctly. Hmm. Capable, capable of a whole four miles an hour. Wow. And they broke down very fucking easily. <laughs> What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. You got it. Let's do Our it. Up, two, three. Finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. 
Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the, on the run, run. On the run. Fingers on the triggers, boys! Oh boy. Come with me! Targets on the horizon! Fire at will! Come on! Well, I'll scream, I can't! Keep them back! I've been Damn. waiting for this day! Oh. Fuck. And Kitty wants some attention now. Everybody stay alert. Hello, kitty. There they are! Open fire! Oops. Oh, no. Reminds me of the opening to Warhorse. Oh yeah. With the British cavalry charging towards fucking machine guns. And even the Germans who are defending the spot like, what the hell is wrong with you? Did you not think you would be defended? Good movie. Yeah. Did something. This was really John to be deaf at this point. Yep. I can't with the will help. Ow. And the truth will set you free. But first, it'll piss you off. Ah, uh, the doughboy uniform. Yep. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to a student. That man is insane. That's putting so it lightly. It seems. 
I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move up. Oops. Uh oh. Whoa. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Charge! I can't believe Vandalin has built himself a fortress in the mountains. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't stupid. You've already seen that place, right? McDougal told me you went up there with that Indian chap. I've seen it all right. We'll be looking chap. The last It's weird hearing an, an American say men. chap. Yeah, I know. Maybe back then it was more common in America, but you would never hear that nowadays in the States. Nate Jones? No. What's he got to do with any of this? Let's just say he has a vested interest in cleaning yeah. the filth out of the I already do World I War One reenactment as a German, but a I do want to get an American uniform as well. All this hate among the natives. <laughs> like you need an the excuse. Americans in World War One aren't really talked about that much. Yeah. See, this is what happens when you fraternize with Saturday. United States Marshal, United States like Marines that. reporting for How duty. Let's kick some like crowd that. ass. Vanderland is a psychopath, <laughs> a murderer, and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Dutch was a good man once. Far the cowboy, man funny enough, you. that's actually Come something that Amer the Germans called Americans Masters in World like War One. They called them cowboys. Never ah. It's also where the it's also where the U.S. United States Marines got their nickname, the Devil Dogs. The, ah, I it see. Was, it was was given to them by back. the Germans, the Tufelhunden. That's cool. You think you're so clever, don't you? No, it's you who thought you were My clever. My history you buffs. You could just walk away from your own life and make no mistake. We have been watching. Don't speak to me. You're really an ungrateful slut, Marston. Instead of punishing you for your crime, we are giving you a chance to kill the men who betrayed you. All we need now is Father Christmas. You didn't have to punish my wife, too. Oh, please. She's hardly innocent. Don't you talk about her like that. Oh, I would never talk ill of dear Abby. Do you call her Abby or Abigail? I prefer Abby. No, I like the woman. A little rough for my taste, but very pleasant. I can't <laughs> wait to put a bullet in your head. When will this be over? It's you who's been dragging it out, not us. We sent you to Fort Mercer with the simple task of killing Bill Williamson. Next thing you know, you're running all over Mexico like a headless chicken. And now it's Dutch. But he's the last one of your merry band, is he not? Then you can go back to your farm, or what's left of it. If need be, you can always send your wife back out to work. I hear she works hard. Go to hell! This old gang of yours just won't die easily, will it? I wonder how many deaths you are all responsible for. How much money you took from pockets of hard-working citizens. We did more for the people with the money we took than the damn government ever did. Good God! Can't disagree with that. This flawed philosophy yeah. yours again. If you wish to argue the finer points of ethics, I suggest you learn to read first. And I suggest you learn how to shoot people in the front, not the back. Santa Claus was called Father Christmas there as well, which is the British term for Santa Claus. Maybe, yeah. ba maybe back then in the States he was called Father Christmas. Hmm. Or it's just an error because this game, well, the game was made in Britain. <laughs> Scotland, <laughs> Scotland. No, wait, no. This was Rockstar San Diego. Oh. I'm, think I'm thinking Rockstar North who make Grand Theft Auto, which is based in Edinburgh. Hmm. Maybe Rockstar North helped with the script. I'm pretty sure it's the same writers, Dan Hauser and all the others. <laughs> Which makes me worried for Grand Theft Auto 6 because Dan Hauser left Rockstar quite a while ago. Mm. So it makes me wonder what's going to happen with the story.
Because Dan Houser has been pretty involved in every Grand Theft Auto since Grand Theft Auto 2 or 3. It's been around a long time. Speaking of Grand Theft Auto 3 this Tuesday. The granddaddy yes. of the granddaddy of 3D open world games. <laughs> Yeah, they used to be based in Dundee Alley and they, they moved to Edinburgh after they got rebranded as Rockstar North because they used to be called DMA Design. History buff, uh, watch me play a historical game, you might learn something. Yes. What a way to teach people video games. I know, right? Why go to school when you can play video games? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Sam Hauser, Dan Hauser's uh, cousin, uh, brother, sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sam Houser's still involved in Rockstar. Hmm. Come on. So you're the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. Oh boy. You blow that gate open. Move, soldier. God, I know I know uniforms back then were made of wool, but they must be freezing. I know, right? I love the smoky bear hat the US Army used to wear. <laughs> now it's just drill instructors that wear it. Go! Get down! Yeah, I would get down too. Splinters. Forward! Move in! Come on, boys! Everybody move in! Oh god, Ali. I got splinters on my fingers! Alright, Ringo Star. <laughs> no, it's blisters, he said. I got blisters on my fingers! It's on my fing yeah. I got blisters on my fingers! Said Thomas. <laughs> I got blisters on my buffers! <laughs> oh god. Yeah, when you button mash a when you button mash a video game. I got blisters on my fingers. Next. Speaking of the US military, there was a really good quote in Battlefield 1. Like, in some of the operations before you start, their commander will say like a small speech before you charge. And, mm -hmm. and the American one goes like, We've come a long, long way, boys! Now it's time for America to show its teeth! Fix bayonets! Charge! <laughs> Although usually in Battlefield 1 I play with the bayonet off because it makes the gun a bit more accurate. <laughs> What the fuck? 
I'm saving that. Oh god. That was weird. Take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. Aye, aye, Captain. This is it, man. Let's get that <laughs> gate down. Keep them covered now, Marston. Up top, cover up. Aye, Mister. You What are you doing? Oh yeah. Shit, 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 shit! This ends right now! Go home, buddy! Take cover, man! Fire in the hole! Whoosh! <laughs> he to said hole. I gotta face Dutch alone! <laughs> Looks like it's me and you, John! You should have stayed at home. You better follow me. It's gonna take more than one of us, partner. are fast where did he get a maxim simple answer it's a game yeah if we're not allowed to question how uh dutch survived his brain injury we're not allowed to question that <laughs> I'm a nice. Son of a bitch. God damn it. That was beautiful, honey. Thank you. You'll never take me alive, John. I don't plan on taking you alive, Dutch. Whoa, not that way. Everyone, I am on fire. Ow. You'll live. It's only third degree burns. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. Yeah, you don't lose brain injuries. Oh, uh, wish it. We stick with you. Oh, yes. Man, this guy was living the high life. Literally. You're just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. Oops. Am I getting flashbacks to the chap chapter 5 in Red Dead 2 when they were in Guarma? Oh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! 
What am I doing here? <laughs> Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? And I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. Yeah. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, You've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. The benefits of civilization. Yep. And, and with that, we can finally go. John can go home and see his family. And I know the only compass that I need oh, is the one is back to you. And the burning blisters on my feet will call to hold me as I'm close to fall. From the warmth of your arms I stray Off the radar and into harm's way Now I know the only compass that I need Oh, is the one that leads back to you
coffee waves the hand again Coaxing letters from the pen But words just sit like empty scribbles Such empty caffeinated riddles Go! Here we are. Yep. Also, I'd just like to point out something. Arthur mm -hmm. died at the top of a cliff. Dutch died at the bottom of one. Symbolic. Oh yeah, besides Jack and Abigail, there's going to be another familiar character here if you played Red Dead 2. Yes. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling! You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? No, oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh. Like you, and like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We're leaving in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies.
Like I said, other familiar characters. Uncle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God damn it, Uncle. Oh, Uncle. Are you ready? Let's haul out. So at the start of Red Dead 2, Jack was 4, I believe, and then he was 12 at the end of Red Dead 2, and here he's about 15. Huh. 15, yeah. 16. Yeah. Red Dead 2 was 1899, then the epilogue was 1907, and this is currently 1911. Come on. Mm. How are you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stand. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. The McFarlands are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Get them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! <laughs> Where do you oh my God. <laughs> Uncle told me about it. <laughs> well, you know the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak oh. for a while. Acted foolish, God damn got it. in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Oh. God damn it, Uncle. Hey, Paul. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us oh. away? They thought it wasn't safe to you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I uh, know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd Whoa. rather be a government man one Whoa. day. Or, or almost. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Well, like Agreed. You, you I know I ain't <laughs> been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. You don't like raunchy humor? Don't play a Rockstar game. Why you went away? Yeah. told you that. I kept hearing people say their names. Uh, that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change, a chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. There you go. John Marston. Oh, There's one time no see. I I'd never see hey. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. All right, Jack. You're going to have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? I'll do my best, sir. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or, trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. This feels so anticlimactic after what we just encountered with Dutch. I know, right? 
But I suppose that's the idea. It's meant to calm you down. It's kind of like uh, the epilogue in Red Dead 2. Like the start of it's very calm and slow. Yeah, that makes sense. Were you guys having a mooding? It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my Come on, get a move on. Let's just say Bill and I You get one of those. Aw, only one. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, the arrogance of you. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he's going to more. all of a sudden. All all right. more. Must take after what do you call a cow on Let's grass? Go. Don't know. Mulan. How's your wife? <laughs> She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. How's the ranch? Easy now. Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for everything. Oh, Bonnie, you don't. <laughs> oh, Bonnie. Jack, we need to move him across the river. Easy now. He does it. Remember your swimming lessons. Thank you God, shallow job, water. Son. Just lead him straight up the hill towards home. Will do, Paul. Uh, uh, where do you think you're going? Yeah. Back, back, I say. Back, back to the herd. Come on, easy up now. <sighs> Sometimes this game is just ASMR. I know, right? Whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. Come on. Eh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get along. Come on. Whoa. I always love doing the clicking sound with animals. Just come on. The Captain Dottis. Tongue clicking. Slow down. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Stewie, shut up. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I've seen Highland cattle. They're so cute. Plenty of them here, for obvious reasons. I saw them there. They're so cute. Plenty of Highland cattle here. I'm like, I want a cast. <sighs> Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Whoa. One straight. We got this. a string. Stay with the herd, Come Jack. Come on. That one almost got me. We're going to leave this in a box. Yeah. One's missing. I think that's all of them. Jack, wait there, I'm coming. You all right? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. We're missing one. I know, I think one of them got killed. Whoa. Oh no, did we fail? No. Come on, get it. Come on, you lump of prime beef. Easy. Come 
I'm gonna name each of these cows after uh, beef. Come on, New York Strip. Come on, Veal. Come on, Bottom Round. Come on, Filet Mignon. You know what? Go Come back on. to the. You know what? Go back to the cow puns. Come on, brisket. <laughs> oh. Up, 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 up. All right, we're good. All right, now lead him into the pit. God damn it, Stewie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stewie, I love you. You're as lucky I'm as cool headed as I am. <laughs> nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Yeah. There you go. Moo, go bitch. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're ranchers now? Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, hundred bucks for that. I only have seen one cow, but hey, -o. not too bad. <laughs> Come back between eleven a.m. and six p.m. Time is it just now? Is Alright. Good one, Wooshy. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest, though. It tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them. They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. God damn it, John! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. See the thing is, these things, these these two do feel so genuine. Yeah, I know. Evil Tim is back in them. Yeah, well, Evil Tim can take them back. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. What the? Don't you me? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, snake. You're not poisoned, are you? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think that was a thing in this game. I think there's enough crows. And my dinner has arrived. Today is Thursday. That's nice trip. So if you hear any uh, crunching, Fine. munching noises, this is my enjoying my dinner. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a 
Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <sighs> it's kind of weird that how in telegrams they used to say stop. Yeah. I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. What are you waiting for? We better hurry. God damn woman, you are jealous. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the board. Oh, while well, you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal and two eyes, mouth, nose, <laughs> that kind of normal. <laughs> Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous, <laughs> so much as curious. Uh-huh. She wrote, it's just sure. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there were really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> He was only frightening if you were afraid of dumb fools. Bill worked so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, yeah, for the context Bill of the hard. second game, I really well, didn't no, enjoy shooting Bill. Right. Yeah. Live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before Same with Javier. Baby. First time I played this game, I shot him. Kind of second man. time, a took him alive. Left, you, were dead. Yep. you knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where'd they take those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen hey, if they laid a John, on John took you on a boat and a lake and proposed there. Being there. I didn't care yeah, right? That. I've been in far worse situations. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. 
Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about <laughs> as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Just... there pony yeah you okay so that was the famous pony that was her all right she's pretty she's normal like i said well you always want to be a rancher i'd have thought she'd be just your thing, the perfect rancher's wife. If I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. Jealous much? I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands <laughs> are good people. She did blood better than a shepherd. I love these two. I know. I have that. Kind of reminds me of kind of reminds of a couple you I used to know. Oh. You ain't wrong At about him. That, Mr. What? Oh. E you and me, silly. What do you mean used to know? That's what. That's why I was confused. Oh. <laughs> like I just want to get a couple of uh, I know, no, no personally. <laughs> you and me, silly. Hey. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is why we're married, chat. The life we led, that doesn't go away. Never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The last crowd for good? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one believing I could get out. Maybe Judge, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are. And they were. Maybe we can't change. We gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. It's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be alright. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe. Normal, even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him. But how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We Pretty much. Best to protect him. Yep. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, yeah, just like a few minutes now ago. We got a chance to make it right. <laughs> Now with a hammer and nail and nail it. Hammer and nail, hammer and nail, hammer and nail, hammer and nail. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Excuse you. <laughs> Belly is full and void is filled. <laughs> Try to go give the game a quick save. It's been a while. Yeah. I fixed the sign, Eddie! Ed, you put the sign on upside down! 
No, I put the sign on the garage. <laughs> John, you put the sign on upside down. No, I put the sign on the wagon, Dutch. Just flip it over, Dutch. I mean, John. <laughs> flip it. Got it. Well, I think I'm ready to take on any wildlife with my fine assortment of rifles here. Oh my god. I flipped it, Dutch. Well, I can read it. Vanderlyn, Vanderlyn Hunting Service is open for business. <laughs> and then then you both run dead characters. <laughs> Come back between Please. 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Like, take the footage of uh, Eddie and Nettie and, like, just, re just replace the audio with their voices. Oh, God. Do it! It'd be great content! Gotta advance the clock. God, I'm glad GTA 5 fixed this, where whenever you, you start a mission, it just sets it to the time it's meant to be. Yes. Right. Oh, come on. Uh, what now? Hold on. Got to advance the clock. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Reminding, reminding us how hard it is to render sheets in a game. She's sleeping above the sheets. Yeah, I know, right? Hell, even nowadays uh, games have trouble with uh, rendering stuff like that, like the capes yeah. and hell, the capes and hell divers too. They go all over the place sometimes. Yeah. What? Oh. Hmm. That'd be something I can do right now. Oh, there's Jack. All right, he's coming now. To be fair, we are at the two-hour mark. Yeah, but we've only got a small, tiny bit of the game left. Oh. Your family member is not here right now. Come back later. He's literally right there. Alright. I will go away and come back. Right. He's sitting there by the tree reading his book. What? He's right there! Whoops! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sorry! Howdy, Paul. Yeah, how did you do? <laughs> um. Okay, what the hell's going on? Maybe, oh, gonna... uh, maybe, hmm? maybe reload? Yeah, I'm gonna restart the game. Can you tell how old this is? So what do you mean by like a little bit of the game left, like completing the whole story? Essentially. Huh. We've, got, we've got side missions left and all that, but the main story's almost done. Ah. So we talked to his son before shit hits the fan? I think so. Again, it's, it's been a long time since I played through this game fully. Where is he? The hell is... Hold on. Maybe it's a better idea if I just leave the ranch entirely and come back. You don't think you broke the game, did you? Don't see how.
because that would suck. All right, turn around. Oh, out of the way. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the J seems to have gotten bigger, so... Yep, there we go. Just a bug. Okay. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. All right. All right, then. Yeah, we've literally only got a few missions left, so... Oops, that's not my horse. <laughs> a few a few missions left, so... May as well just uh, ride out. Just the main story, then? Yeah. All right. Okay. Now stay close to the dog, son. Come on! When he finds something... You stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Yep. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Let's go. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all Come on, before. easy up now. Jack, he's on to something. Come. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about Oh yeah, the big bear and the big bear in Red Dead too. Yeah. Sounds like a tall yard to me. I remember a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon. I'm just saying. Maybe you spent Yeah, and the second the second game had so much context to this one. Yeah. We do. So long as you're not well uh -oh. from the real world. Uh-oh. Jack there's one up ahead. Get in! Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. There we go. My gun too. Let's go. Did I get it? Come on. Did you? I'll show yep. you how to cut the meat. I thought he was gonna get away. That was great, huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot. Not rushing. Woo! Yep. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Doggy. Hope you were watching. The doggy. It'll be your turn next. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Yeah. All right, 
Let's see if we can find some more. Find another one, Rufus. Let's go. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch I know, at I know, I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Good boy. Slow down. Go. Find another one, Rufus. Son. Why does this music sound like it came out of Minecraft? Yeah, I can hear that. Steady now. There you go. Blow it up, I see him. Don't rush it. Stay calm. Cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Hey, come on. That sounds pleasant. Yeah. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Hey, watch it! Oh, what were you eating? <laughs> <laughs> Over yep, it was necessary oh. around this time. <laughs> I know that when I play Red Dead 2 as an animal lover, although I actively avoid shooting foxes in Red Dead 2. Yeah. Only kill what you need. We'll I hate Stu. fox hunt. I hate fox hunting. And Stewie doesn't shoot rabbits because he hates the noise it makes when you you skin them. I know. I hate it too. Because you said you pull, you essentially pull their pelt off like a glove. Just. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I hate fox hunting. I'm glad it's banned in the UK. <laughs> yeah. Because they're just some hunters who are just assholes and barbaric to foxes. Alright. Yes, they are. are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Hunting should be for survival, not for sport. Agreed. Ah. Hello, you sir. look familiar. What do you have? I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Did you hear about Oscar? Financially embarrassed, apparently. So much money. Money. And there we are. Enjoy the journey. Just let me know what you need. Nice to see you, Mr. Mountain. That'll be all. Thanks. See you again, I hope. I heard John Mark. All done. Let's head home. Alright, home time. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, sir. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the <laughs> stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I didn't have to work. <laughs> that ain't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. Let's go. I'll be rich one day. Then you'll 
see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Okay, when does shit hit the fan? I don't know. Whoa, what the hell? Ah, uh, lever action. Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Well, show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. Better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Dude, have the butt strong against your shoulder. After the herd, got to get out there and scare him off. You want to come with me? His posture is slouched. Stay for it too. Okay. I can even tell his posture is slouched. <laughs> Back straight, shoulders down. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Come on. What's Rufus got for us now? You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look you out. Can't tense your body while you shoot. You gotta relax. Yep. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Slow up. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Very true. Yep. Come on, easy up now. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Come on, he's picked up a scent. Hold up a moment. Easy. Mom, is uncle really your uncle? No, at least I sincerely hope not. <laughs> he's probably lots of people's father though. Well, why do you call him uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. Neither do I, John. Come on, boy. Look, son. He sniffed him out. Keep your wits about you. Those wolves ain't afraid to defend themselves. What the hell? The hell's that wolf made of? I know, right? There they are. Come on, son. What are you doing? Oh, we got more. Come on! Come on! 
Oh, there they are. they made of? I know wolves are tough, but Jesus Christ. I know. I love how the dog is like nonchalant, right. like not affected by the wolves. back now. We got out further than I thought. You're gonna land us both in the dirt. Let's go. Hey, Watson. Ride home? Oh, can I ask you something? Of course. Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No, and I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Paul, Paul, who's Hey. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. <laughs> all we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. One arm, Willie. That was his name. I'm happy with I'm my really... two arms, if you don't mind. <laughs> Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Marston, most wanted men in the West. And what about your ma? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I'm only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Let's go, come on. Yeah. Come on, Jack, keep up. Come on, Jack. Come on, slowpoke. Go without him. No, he's there. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. Shit should be hitting the fan any second now. Turn into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Give the game a save. You know, we know how to fix that bug if it happens again. Just leave the ranch and come back. Yeah. Eleven a.m. and six p.m. What time is just now? All right, gotta advance the clock. It looks so weird seeing them sleep on top of the sheets. I know, right? That's yeah, game limitations. Okay, one more, one more advance, and it should be, we should be How right on time. You? Excellent. Quarter to eleven. Nice. So about thirty seconds. 
Oh wait, Jack's available anyway. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. <laughs> if anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Oh, God, God damn it, Jack. He really is a teenager, a rebellious one. Yep. Come on, Rufus. Where's Jack? Slow down! Good Labrador. Dexter, how long have you been keeping this lab a secret from me? Cause I'm just crazy about Labrador Retrievers! They're such good doggies, yes they are! And yes, they are. I can attest to that. <laughs> and that little, I love... I love Labradors. And the little Scooby-Doo reference, he pulled out a box of Scooby Snacks. Good boy. <laughs> oh, I just love Labradors. What is it, Rufus? Are we close? <laughs> We have a lot of labs at uh, Doctor. You can find him, boy. I imagine so. We get a lot of labs. We get a lot of French bulldogs. French bulldogs are very popular right now. Come on, boy. Huh. Where is he? They've been popular since like last year, so. Come on, Rufus. Find him. Come on, Where's Rufus. Jack? Good boy. Where is he? Where is he, boy? Let's go. Whoa there. Is he close are you by? Up here, Jack? Jack! Where are you? Oops. Sorry, Rufus. Stay on the scent, boy. That's that. Hmm, wonder if I can skin the bear. Mmm, bear nope. meat. What the hell were you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Yeah, there's a difference between shooting elk and shooting bears. Difference being, Elks. bears will fight Elk. back. Elks have hooves. Bears have claws. And like I said, bears will fight back, whereas yes. elk will run away. Come on. Now hold tight. You all right? Yeah. And God and help so you if you ever go up alive, against boy. a mama bear. I tell you about God yep. help you. Ends, well, ends where we have, why we have the term. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. Well, I was trying to prove Never myself. ever fuck with a mama bear. Yep. By getting yourself killed? 
You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be Also, grateful. when I'm facing a bear, for the grateful. love of God, I'm don't turn do around. Yeah, you stand, you you stand still and look at it. One set of rules for you and another set you stand your ground. You think yeah. I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not so stupid. do be careful. You Usually, if a bear's me. in front of you, chances are there's one behind you, I'm but sorry, no, whatever you, you worry, do, don't Paul. turn around. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. No, Wushi, you don't play dead. Stand your ground. Let's go! There we are. The you got bigger. Ah. By sweat and toil. Get up, old man. I I am up. Get up. Oh. There I'm up. Thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. And you always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. Do this together. All right, let's go. Where to next? All right, you stay front. Come on. Come on, yeah. you. More. Come on, prime rib. Let's go. Come on. Let's get him out the pasture. Come on, move those flanks. Be flank steak. Come on. Keep it moving. Up oh, thirteen. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. If only Rufus came with us. 
Yeah. Move it out. Who would uh park the house in place? To be fair, he's Jack's yeah. dog, not John's. Oh, for God's sake. PMX! Hey, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Oh, for the love of. Oh, I dumb fucking horse. Let's go. Done, honey. <laughs> Man, you're quite the shot. <laughs> Thank you. I thought we were done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Where'd them cows at? Boy, you could have got yourself killed. Shut it, old man. Come on, let's get this herd moving again. Look out, there's a split wall. Uh, Ooh. where are the other three cows? Go on, I cows. guess. Oh no. Down to two cows. No oh, well. At least there's no pass or failure rank. Yeah. Mean <laughs> cows. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. Let's go. Oh, you should just part of the main story and not the side missions. <laughs> No, it's part of the story. Again, it's just meant to relax you after what, well, what happened earlier, shall we say? Mm. Bisons! Bisons! And yes, that's the term, not fucking buffalo. That was the one thing that really bothered me in MLP, when they were calling bison the buffalo, it's like, no, they're bison. I suppose buffalo is the more common term these days. Yeah. Come on. You say buffalo and I say bison. Buffalo, bison. Let's call the whole thing off. What are you looking at, old man? There's some mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. <laughs> I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? Uh, Wolf uh, Yarl, look up American Bison and Water Buffalo. That's your difference. Come on, follow me. Yeah. Get up now. 
Because people always confuse the bison with the water buffalo. It's like they're two different Why do you animals. Why act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on, I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've Lumbago. been taking things easy for 40 years. Get up. Horses. Horses. Come on. Yeah, uh, water yes. buffalo have much, much larger and curlier horns. Show it who's boss. Whoa, there you go, woman. I got you now. Another one. I see you. I see you. Zap. Come on. Can remember you because there ain't no one for to give you no pain. Mm -hmm. la, 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 Come on. through the desert with the horse with no name. My favorite version of that song will always be the one by Michelle Branch, and they use that in Bojack Horseman. Uh, for me, it will always be the original one by America. Oh, yeah. They're great, too. What the hell, Big Mac? Come on! Or Bojack? He looks like Bojack. <laughs> he does, actually. Yeah, easy, Bojack. Come on. Bring on in, old man. Yeah, we'll name, the, we'll name that horse Bojack. Come on, Bojack. Let's go. To be fair, that would be a really cool name you would give to a pet, because uh, I think before I was even born or, just, or I was a baby, we used to have a cat named Kojak. Yeah, so it's like, huh, Bojack. Like, that would be a cool name for a dog. And definitely a horse, because, you know. Come on! Come on! Easy now! Easy, girl. <laughs> Roger! Roger, it doesn't sound like you're talking to a horse! <laughs> you're alright, girl! Oh, yeah. You're alright, girl! <laughs> Easy, girl! God damn it, Roger Clark! <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'm like, I don't mind. Uh, of course you don't. <laughs> Yeah, I met Roger Clark at Comic Con a couple years ago. Really sound, really sound guy. Oh yes, yeah, Dewey, but I forgot Bojack was named a DBZ villain. Shut up, Bojack! Yar! I be on the fire of a ship. I'm like, oh yeah, he was a space pirate. And the movie itself, well, it wasn't that good. Yeah, I heard it was really meh. Yeah, most of the DBZ movies are eh. Yeah. There are a few good ones like Tree of Might, Fusion, Fusion Run, Fusion Reborn. Make sure there's enough Battle of Gods. Yeah. Keep them strong. 
Right. Broly? Damn, yeah, the first Broly. Kill you. The other two? No. What about the one that, like, in 2018? That one? Yeah, the, yeah, the newer Broly, yeah. I was talking about the original Broly movies. Ah. Uh. Wait, you like the one where his backstory was, oh, he cries a baby? The first you one's like good. That? I like the first one, but I didn't like the other two. Because, like, his backstory was because he was crying. That's how he became to be. I'm like, what? Really? Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Follow me. Come on, old man. I'm gonna need you to help me hold them off. What a... I'm taking you all down with me. Come on, man. Yep, the shit's about to hit the fan. Yep. If you, if you don't recognize those uniforms, U.S. Army. Come on! Can't yep. stay out here! Alright, come on. Inside! I'll keep watch out here! What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how here the organ. Are. They're gonna kill yep. us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. We'll take y'all off. How many of these guys are there? Why are you doing it? Oh, no. are you alright? If there's any consolation, I'm saving you guys from a brutal war in a few years. Ah, you son of a bitch! Oh, you cheat!
job, honey. It's always one. Uncle. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Bring it, do boys. Come on. God damn it. Fuck. It's this way. Screw it, I'll do it on foot this time. Make a run yeah, for let's the do it on foot. Let's go! Move! Alright, you're covered! Now go! Go! Now! Quick! Run for it! Alright, you're covered! Now go! Go! Quick! This way! Now! Quick! Run for it! Where's this last guy? Where is he? Come on! Where are you? There he is! There you are! Come on! Come on! You want more! Come on. Now listen. Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get. <laughs>
go back for Pa. Let's go! Oh, three years have passed. Now we're Jack Marston. Yep. Yeah! He's got to take care of one last thing. One last thing, and we're done. That's all we gotta do. Just one last thing. Three years have passed. We're in the year 1914 now. Chat, sit tight. Oh shit, this game came out in 2010. How could you not know that's what happens to John? Yep, the start of World War One. We're in summer we're in summer nineteen fourteen. Although the US won't be involved until nineteen seventeen. And even then they won't be on the actual battlefield until Spring 1918. It took a long time to mobilize an army back then. Come out, come out. Oh, Oops. Hello there. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Just waiting for the moment. Slow down. Good. Is it this guy I talked to? It is. Hello, young man. Yep. Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if you want a results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. Beats fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. 
Oh, buddy, you just signed his death warrant. Still here? Yep. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Easy now. How you doing? So now we need to go out to Great Plains. Mm -hmm. Lake Don Julio. I assume that's the lake there, because it doesn't seem to be showing I... anything on the radar. I don't see anything oh, wait. either. There. All the way down there. Get comfy. Or we could just take a stagecoach. Yeah, those do that. Whoa. 1917, Jarl, not 1915. April 1917, Woodrow Wilson officially declared war on the German Empire. I love how your horse follows you. Yeah. Give me a shout when we get there. Now people are begging, uh, still wondering what the hell uh, Red Dead 3 is going to follow. I know, right? Are they going to follow the gang when they were in their prime, like in the 1870s or the 1880s? Or, or we follow Jack. Or are we going to follow Jack going into World War I? Let's go! Let's go! Well, the song got it wrong. Well done. Here we are. Yep. Drop yourselves in, chat. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. No, no but a lot of things are his fault. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting. On the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Yeah, just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, he killed John. It's unknown what uh, Abigail died of. I mean... The amount of diseases around this time wasn't exactly short, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Remember my family. Could have been something as simple as an abscess and a tooth back then. I know. Sorry, I've got no time for side objectives. This all ends right here. Right now. Right now. Have I got any horse pills? Yes, I do. Horse roids. Or whatever the hell they are. I was gonna say ivermectin, but that's a dewormer for horses. Stop now. 
and I don't know if it existed back then. Yeah, it could have been Lamonia, could have been TB. Yeah, Ballist it could be anything. The list of diseases people died from back then, again, wasn't short. Yep. Nearly there. Oh, easy there. Almost there. I think that was only. S oh, we have got more horse pills. Wait till, wait till the stamina goes back up. Yeah, diarrhea could kill you back then. Yeah. Could have been the flu. Cholera. Yeah. All these things we take for granted these days. Back then, they mm -hmm. could have been a death sentence. Hell, the flu. Hell, the flu is still a death sentence. I know. And so, for some people. Yeah. Tetanus. Yeah. Yep. I remember getting my tennis shot when I was 16. Painful! <laughs> Little BD, that will require a tennis shot. I'm yeah, I got, a I got a tennis shot when I was 16, and God, they are painful shots. They are. That will require See, a tennis uh, shot. I ain't gonna swear, but I am gonna gun anchor Ross down! <laughs> All righty. This is his bro. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts for his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river. Duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off, then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Yep, he's just over there. All right. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. 
You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Rest in piss. <laughs> he became what his he became what his father didn't want him to be. And just like that, revenge is served. Now that is how you end a game. Yeah, let's do. It's weird there's no there's no music. Oh wait, there is. Three hours. It's not the longest stream I've ever done. Yeah, still. And, and if we stopped at the farm, the the next stream would only have been about an hour. Yeah. Now that is how you end a game. Foo wee. I don't know how his brother and wife are going to feel about this. I don't care. The guy deserved it. I know, right? Who the fuck cares? Hmm, this is a nice song. When I first played this game in 2010, I thought it was a masterpiece. In 2024, I still do. Yep. Still, it is a tragic ending because he became the very thing his father didn't want him to become. Yep. An outlaw. I know it's mostly because they use like the same character rigging and all that, but jo uh, Jack is the spitting image of his father. Yeah. And we wouldn't get another sequel, we wouldn't get a sequel to this game for eight years. Yep. But we got LA Noir in 2011, we got Max Payne 3 in 2012, we got Grand Theft Auto 5 in 2013, and then we had to wait all the way until 2018 for a sequel to this. Yep. Dead Man's Gun. Dead Man's Gun. And we probably won't get Red Dead 3 until I estimate 2032 or something. Because Rockstar like to take their time with their games. Yep. I mean, it shows, don't get me wrong, but my god, the wait is intense. I know. Because as far as I'm aware, development for Red Dead 2 started literally right after this game came out. And it entered full production once uh, GTA 5 came out. Hmm. You got anything to say about this game? I love it, just... Ooh. I let your feelings be known. Don't have me talking all the time. I, I, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words. It's just, goddamn. <laughs> My favorite bit will always be in when you enter Mexico for the first time and uh, Far Away comes on. Yeah...
I kind of like how you had to sort of suss out for yourself, like taking revenge on Edgar Ross as a side mission. Technically, yeah, because you have to first talk to a stranger, then you have to suss it out from the purple areas. Mm hmm. I'm glad I had the Mauser because it meant I can unload more bullets in him. Whoa, 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 don't leave, guys. Remember, we, you got, we're going to announce that which I'll be replacing yeah. this game. And, and you're going to be so happy as me. I'm sure, I'm sure they are. <laughs> Nurture or nature. Complete remember my family. Oh, it's a gold trophy. I wonder if his body's still there. There's his hat. Yep, there's his body. I wonder if I can rob him. Or loot him. Yeah, I think I don't think I can because his body's in the water. Whoa! But... Whoops. Yeah, that's right. What? The Marsh that's right, the Marstons can't swim. <laughs> I forgot nice about that. Nice job. Hey, the deed's done, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I kinda forgot the Marstons can't swim. I like how they make fun of that in Red Dead 2 with John. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well. That's right it for, then. That's it for this masterpiece. This was great. Like, I'm a completely lost for words because, damn. It was oh. amazing then and it's amazing now. All right. We always, uh, I forgot, we always do this after we play a series of games. Red Dead 1 or Red Dead 2? Two. Two by a country mile. Oh my god, two bar none. Don't get me wrong, this game was amazing. But Red Dead but... Two Red Dead Two is just Mwah, Chef's Kiss. Yep, everyone's saying the same. Two, 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 two. <laughs> yeah, Red Dead Two, all the goddamn way. Right, folks. I think that's us. So do you have anything to say before we sign off? Nope, I'm good. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, be sure to tune in next Tuesday for Grand Theft Auto 3. And stay tuned right now so you can know what takes this game slot. See you then. Bye-bye.